Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss project topics, project ideas for final year computer science students. So it will consist of uh, the topics you can use for your mini project as well as your final semester project. So let us start the video. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you get important updates whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel. So today's topic will be uh, online job portal. Again, uh, there are many job portals already present, but again, uh, this type of project will give you lot, lots of exposure in terms of a full-fledged application because uh, online job portal contains almost all the modules that you can find uh, in a web application. And you need to just uh, go through different uh, online job portals like Nokri to check all those uh, modules that are there. And then you, you need to uh, select a programming language based upon like uh, whatever you have learned. If you haven't learned, then you have a choice that you can choose any language. So first thing will be like uh, the diff I have just uh, listed down few modules, but again, there will be n number of modules. But the core module for online job portal, that application that you're going to create, you can deploy that application on your server. You will have a live link that you can showcase uh, in your final presentation. So again, it will be a very good application. And again, there will be only two, there will be uh, three types of users. One will be you, normal users who will be the job seekers. The second types of user will be recruiters. And the third type of user will be the admin. Admin will have control on both uh, recruiters and users both. Then we will have like one common login module through which it will check if the role of the user is a job seeker or the role of the user is a recruiter or the uh, the role of the user is an admin. So based upon that, there will be three different interfaces that will be shown to three different types of users. Now you can add another type of user also that all depends upon how much complex or how much uh, new modules you want to add to this project. Then uh, for login, there must be a registration panel through which users can log in. I mean, admin is not going to uh, register, but the, these two users, job seekers and the other one is uh, recruiter. They are going to register. And then the core thing is the search. I mean, this is the core thing of uh, this particular application because everyone who is going to register for this particular job portal, they they are going for search. Recruiters are going to search for some keywords so that they can get, instead of going all resume one by one, they want specific set of people so they can search. You have to provide n number of filters in terms of years, in terms of uh, name in terms of uh, their qualifications in terms of their region in terms of their experience so the main thing that uh, is dependent uh, when you are going to create this application will be the performance so searching should be very very fast it should provide every type of filter so that like user doesn't have to search it manually so these two things uh, the search and filter property is very very important then if you move to the next uh, part, uh, we have email or SMS. I mean, whenever a particular recruiter is showing interest to a particular uh, job seeker, the same time a trigger email or an alert email should be sent to the user so that like the main purpose of a job seeker is to know that if a recruiter is interested. So at that time, SMS plus email integration is very, very important. So again, you can see uh, these are few modules that I, I am discussing. You can add as many module. Security will be main thing because you are going to store all the data of the user. So you need to make it that it is a security compliant. No user's information is compromised. You cannot share any, anything. So those things you need to go for that. So for your demo application, if you are going to just show the, showcase the proof of concept, again, you will have some demo users. So for that particular thing, again, uh, security will not be required and once like you have a working application you can uh, showcase a live link 
you can either deploy it on aws again it's a free for one year it is free so by the time uh, you just create one account and then uh, the same thing you can show to your guide so this will be a very good application and again it's not uh, the question of application that you are going to create the main thing is what things you are going to learn because ultimately uh, once you are going to do a job or once you are putting this particular uh, project in a resume everybody will be interested to know whether you have done it by yourself so it's very important that you should learn all these modules and again as, as i told you that language is not the barrier whatever language you uh, want to learn you can learn and then you can create this project so again uh, friends this is a, a new project idea for uh, final year computer science students again you can use it for your mini projects also and you can use for uh, your main project also so friends this was uh, today's uh, topic uh, if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video